This is Forex Insights with CIS Trading at thinkorswimtoolkit.com and focus the Euro US dollar. I was in a long position earlier from over here at 123.7.5 and I actually was looking for a 123.15 target. We had a reversal here and when this candle came down on a confirmation to reverse, um, I actually got stopped out at 123.5. When that trade came down, though, you could see we had a little bit of a divergence on that stochastic, and that was really my miss when that came down. Had a, a higher high here, but no follow through. I was really surprised. I thought we'd get a push up to that 123.15 area. Right now, I'm looking to take a long position around this 123.3 area. I would. Have a little bit of a divergence here. See how that made a lower low? And there we are. So we're we're in that entry at 123.3 on that. What I'm looking at here is potentially a move back up to my stop area, so we should get above this 123, 5.5 again, and see if we don't attempt to make another breakout above this bearish trend support. We broke out of it here, came down to it, went right back up, and then came back down through it, turned right up through it again. This price level is seemingly insignificant, so if if we do generate the momentum on this trade to get up through that 123.9 area, I would expect maybe a 123.12 target if we're able to get above that 123.9. So we're basically three pips at a time on this trade. See what happens here in the next two or three minutes. Again, most of my long positions on the pound and the euro today, um, which mostly has been on the pound side, it's because I have a short position from the 131.72 level in this Euro Yen. And so any any move against that trade today, I've tried to arbitrage uh, just a little bit of that risk and, and make a little bit of it back. Uh, seemingly today, every time the Euro and the Pound started to move back strong against the dollar, I've seen um, a little bit of a pullback in this down move on this Euro Yen. So I've just made a handful of trades sort of to protect myself against the risk in that position. Now that I'm into that trade really good. Again on these lower charts, these are 20 minute charts for the Euro dollar, British pound, US dollar, US dollar, Japanese yen, Euro Japanese yen. You can see the bearish conditions on the Euro dollar, uh, British pound dollar. Euro Japanese yen for the day. This US dollar Japanese yen has been sort of range bound today. Once we peaked up here around this 106.25 level, uh, we've sort of oscillated within a range of this last push here. Well, that had a nice spirit pattern where it went up, came down, came right back up into that range. And usually when you have a, either a top tail doji, a piercing high, or a spinning candle where you have that long wick at the top of the trend come back down, and when you come back into it, that's a great opportunity to look at selling those conditions. Anytime the market pops up back in there with a low risk just above that high, and you can see what you know what's happened is we've slowly worked up to just barely a new high there. Let's go back and take a look real quick at this Euro US dollar trade. So there we are, we're up just a couple of pips. I'd like to see a good move here in the next 30 seconds or so. I'd like to see this stochastic really push up above this strength here closer to maybe an 85 to 90 level real close up to this 100 level would be really good for this trade so right here we're at a level where I've made back the loss that I took on this very uh, shallow stop I had here this is CIS trading we'll keep watching this one see